Good day, mighty children of the Most High, and welcome to this glorious new month with increased knowledge of the Word and grace for growth. Today, from the Rhapsody of Realities, Pastor Chris shares a message on His strength for your weakness. Blessed be God. Reading our theme scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, it says, And He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. As you serve the Lord, you should know that He never allows you to burn out or wear out. He renews your strength. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 30 to 31 puts it beautifully. It says, Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah! The Hebrew word translated renew above literally means to bring back to life. The picture is of an axed tree that is expected to die but suddenly revives. It is a kind of transformation where death is replaced with a new life. Weakness is replaced with strength. One of its synonyms is substitute or exchange. Thus, your weakness is exchanged for his strength. Glory to God. No wonder Paul said in Colossians chapter 1 verse 29, Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. So, it is about his divine strength at work in you. Also, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 5 to 6, he said our competence, which is in the Greek, he can notice the ability with which we function as able ministers of the gospel is divine and not human. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who also had made us able ministers of the New Testament. Hallelujah! That is God's plan. He gives power and strength to the weak. And you can read this in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. With Him, you never run out of might and inspiration. It brings to mind the words of the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians, chapter 4 verse 16 for this cause we faint not but though our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day as a laborer with the lord working for and together with him there is a renewal of your strength you are constantly refreshed and rejuvenated by the spirit of god to be a fire inspired and full of joy as you serve him be conscious of this hallelujah praise the lord that means you can be always performing at your highest capacity because the one living inside you is your strength and sufficiency glory to god right now i invite you to affirm this confession as you repeat after me blessed be god I am constantly refreshed and rejuvenated by the Spirit of God, inspired and full of joy to serve the Lord. I am strong in the grace of Jesus Christ, competent and ready for every good work. He is the strength of my life. Hallelujah! In our further study section, our man of God enjoins you to study and meditate on these scriptures from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29, Psalm 103 verses 1 to 5, and Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Praise be to his name forevermore. So you see, as someone who has the Holy Spirit, you should not allow yourself to be burned out or stressed because you have been empowered to prosper in all things and work from a place of rest. This month, decide to put the Word of God to work as you tune in daily to the Rhapsody of Realities. And if this is your first time, you may subscribe to this channel for more teachings from Pastor Chris. Share these messages to all those on your social media platform and reach others with the good news.
Download your own copy of this daily devotional from the link in our description, available in over 3,700 languages for free today and bless someone with this daily devotional. Join us again tomorrow and continue to meditate on the message you just heard. Hallelujah. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.